Welcome to the Sweet 16 uh, Seeds 5 and 6 competition. The winners of each one will go to next week's Elite 8. Out of the Western Conference, we have the number 5 seed, 2009 Native American Dollar versus the 2009 Presidential Dollar, 2009. The 2010 Native American dollar versus the 2010 presidential dollar. And the 2011 Native American dollar versus the 2011 presidential dollar. The Native American obverse goes unchanged and that is the Sacagawea with John Baptiste, designed by Glenna Goodacre. And the presidential reverse dollar goes unchanged, and that's the Statue of Liberty, designed by Don Everhart. Okay, the 2009 Native American reverse, designed by Norman Nemeth. The 2010 Native American reverse, designed by Charles Vickers and Thomas Cleveland. And the 2011 Native American Reverse, designed by Joseph Mena and Richard Masters. 2009 uh, Presidential Obverse, uh, designed by Susan Gamble and Charles Vickers. 2010 Presidential Obverse, designed by Don Everhart. And the 2011 Presidential Obverse, also designed by Don Everhart. Okay, the history told by the 2009 Native American dollars is the three sisters planting seeds. The 2010 is the great tree of peace. And the 2011 is the Wamapog Treaty of 1621. The uh, history told by the 2009 presidential dollar, James Polk, is told through his presidency. 2010 is told through Abraham Lincoln's presidency. And the 2011 told through Ulysses S. Grant's presidency. Okay, the fun fact, the Native American dollar started in 2009 and is still going. Uh, the years that it was minted for circulation was 2009 through 2011. As far as the presidential dollar, it was minted 2007, and I put to question mark because it still hasn't ended. However, a president has to die in order for a coin to have its image. Unfortunately, I think Jimmy Carter is coming up next. Um it was minted for circulation between the years 2007 and 2011. Okay, I couldn't make a decision on any of the categories, so we have a tie. We're going to let the Native American uh, dollar have a one and a half points and the presidential dollar with one and a half points. On Monday's video, Yoke Fan asked, is there a way that these can end in a tie? Well, I did answer that yes, it could end a tie, and here's a proof of that. However, in the uh, comment, I noted that the way to end the tie would be a coin flip, and I decided rather than a coin flip, we would do a wheel spin. So there you have it. The Native American dollar will be moving on to the Elite Eight. Out of the Eastern Conference, we have the number five seed, the 1921 Morgan dollar. And it will be going up against the number six seed in the Eastern Conference, the 1921 Peace Silver dollar. Okay, the Morgan dollar was designed by George T. Morgan. And uh, the obverse had the profile of Lady Liberty, while the reverse had the eagle with outstretched wings. 
The Peace Dollar was designed by Anthony de Francisci. Obverse being uh, also Lady Liberty and the reverse being the bald eagle clutching an olive branch over the word peace. Truth be told, I uh, was never a big fan of the peace dollar design and I'm giving this to Morgan Dollar. Okay, Morgan Dollar was minted between 1878 and 1904 and then again in 1921. Uh, much of the silver from the Comstock load in the Virginia City was used to mint, especially the early uh, Morgan dollars. The Peace Dollar was minted from 1921 to 1928, again from 1934 to 1935. The 1918 uh, Pittman Act uh, required that uh, the government mint uh, silver dollars and uh, they started with the Morgan dollar but uh, quickly there was pressure to change the design to commemorate the peace at the end of World War I of course the war to end all war. Giving the nod to the Morgan dollar on this one since it was in circulation for a much greater period of time than the peace dollar. Okay, the Morgan dollar is officially known as the Liberty Head dollar, although it's commonly known as the Morgan for obvious reasons, his designer's name. His model was a school teacher named Anna Williams, and the nickname uh, is Cartwheel due to the fact that, again, most of the silver to mint the Morgan dollars was out of uh, Virginia City, Nevada, and the and distributed primarily in the West, so the Cowboys uh, called it the cart. The Peace Dollar was uh, minted to commemorate the peace after World War I, and uh, the model for uh, Lady Liberty was his wife, uh, Teresa. And there were actually uh, coin Peace Dollars minted in 1964, but they were all melted before any circulation. This one's pretty much a toss-up for me, but I'm going to go ahead and give some to the Morgan dollar due to its popularity among the coin collecting world. Quick look at the scoreboard shows that the Morgan dollar has three points, the Peace dollar has zero, so the Morgan dollar will be moving on to the Elite Eight. So a quick recap, we have out of the Western Conference, we have the Indian Head Cent, the Mercury Dime, and the Native American Dollar in the Elite Eight. Out of the Eastern Conference, we have the Buffalo Nickel, the Standing Liberty Quarter, and the Morgan Silver Dollar heading to the Elite Eight. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned tomorrow to see how the rest of the bracket gets filled out.